What is up guys? It has been a while. I am gonna head over to Best Buy. Um, I do have the Black Panther Steelbook on pre-order and you can see what else is around at Best Buy as well. And maybe hit up Target. I'm pretty sure they probably have a digibook of uh, Black Panther, I'm guessing. So I'll go see what they have over there. Yeah, so I saw Black Panther in theaters once and I thought it was good. It was a good Marvel action movie. And uh, I really liked Andy Serkis in it, playing a non-CGI character for once. Kind of made me think that in the original or the new Star Wars movies that uh, Snoke might have been a little better, but I still like the, uh, the character of Snoke in those movies. And uh, the Michael B. Jordan character, um, the main bad guy, was really good as well. Very interesting character and background. So um, overall, good movie. All right, so plenty of steelbooks here. That's a 4K. More uh, steelbooks, 4K steelbooks. I think I got the Blu-ray DVD. Those might be sold out. Got plenty of copies here. It's about four in the afternoon too. Thinking about this one. It's a new Deadpool steelbook, but I already have the original, so I don't know if I'm gonna pay 25 bucks for the other one. I have a Die Hard steelbook. That's pretty sweet. The Die Hard Collection steelbook, 45 bucks. 4K. Looks like they have an exclusive storybook, which I'm going to pass on. Plenty of them, too. Black Panther. Blu-ray DVD steelbook. There's plenty of steelbooks left, but at Best Buy, on the shelf, it was just the 4K and Blu-ray combo for $34.99. I believe I paid like $26 or $27.99 for this. And a little flimsy. A little flimsy. There's a J card. Right there and pretty sweet nice matted finish oh that's awesome right there black panther on the front and that's the back pretty sweet just a little hope mine's not bent or something doesn't look like it all right i do have the digital copy just be the first person down below to answer this question what is the name of the place in africa where the black panther resides all right, looks like there's no DVD, just the Blu-ray and digital. There's the Blu-ray right there. It's pretty cool. And inside our work, got a bunch of the main characters and the place where they live, right there. Best Buy, $5.99. This is a blind buy, Colossal. I've heard good things. It was a film that didn't do well in the box office. No one went to go see it. Um, there's a digital HD, so if you want to have a digital copy of Colossal, just be the first person to say so down below in the comments section. There's the Blu-ray DVD. Definitely going to check this out soon. Finally bought this. I didn't have a copy of Tommy Boy, a classic comedy from the 90s. One of my favorite comedies of all time. Chris Farley, David Spade, and Rob Lowe is great in this. And see if there's a digital copy. Doesn't look like it. Standard Blu-ray right there. Holy Schnike edition. And a while back, a couple of months ago, I would say, I bought this on. There was like a Criterion sale going on, and I bought Night of the Living Dead, George A. Romero's classic zombie film. Um, definitely gonna check this out. I've seen parts of it. I haven't seen. I, I haven't sat down and watched the whole thing, but um, from what I remember, uh, they, you know, these two people show up at a cemetery. It's very atmospheric, and um, they end up in a house or something like that, and. This was made in 1968, and I remember that, um, from what I understand, what, how does this open? Okay. That's pretty sweet. Look at that artwork right there, front and back. From what I understand, um, it was a controversial film just because it was a, you know, African-American and a blonde white woman in the same house or something like that. I don't know. It was weird back in the 60s. I wasn't even born yet. And it looks like... Of course, with Criterions. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a poster. It's pretty sweet. Right there. And then on the back is the stuff that I'll probably try and read after I watch the movie. About another Criterion during the sale. This is The Last Days of Disco. 
Well, last days of disco. I saw this a long time ago, and I remember not liking it too much, but that was when I was like, who knows, in my early 20s or something like that. So this has Kate Beckinsale and Chloe, which I'm not even going to try the last name, Chloe Savigny. Um, she was in Boys Don't Cry. I saw that movie once and never watched it again because it was so disturbing. Um, but definitely a great actress from what I remember. I haven't seen her in a lot of things recently. And got the nice booklet right here. Two main characters there. And I think it's basically, you know, a late 90s perspective. A nostalgia film about, you know, the late 70s and the death of disco. Pretty cool Blu-ray right there. I'll definitely check it out. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully I'll make more videos in the near future. I'll see you guys on the next one.